Okay, good afternoon. We're here with Jonathan and his 1974 Firebird Trans Am, which is being listed on Bring a Trailer. Jonathan, why don't you tell us how you acquired this car and a little bit about, a little bit about your ownership? Absolutely. So I, I originally, this is actually my third muscle car. So I had an 81 Z28 and an 81 Berlinetta before this. And I happened to be at my transmission uh, shop doing some work on the 81. And this car happened to be for sale. So I saw it. I always wanted a Pontiac. I always wanted a white Pontiac with the blue bird. Um, I wanted the off-white vinyl, I wanted uh, power windows and air conditioning, yeah. and the one, that special 160 degree, 160 mile an hour um, speedometer with the fish scale dash. Yeah, these are, so these are some of the things that, that uh, would, would differentiate this car from other 74 Trans Ams. The, the air conditioning, the white interior, the black dash, uh, the big engine, the 455. So just the way that it came from the factory makes it a, a desirable car, especially for you. Um, then, then you went on and, and did some work to it. Yeah, absolutely. And it was also a recession year in 74, so it went one of the lower production years as well. Ah. Um, yeah, so then I, I bought it, I did work over time. And in 2009, I redid the interior, new headliner, uh, new seat covers, new door panels, new carpet, new underlay. Uh, just did a really nice number on the interior. Right. And, you, and you just recently redid the front seats. Yes, the two, the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat were just re-wrapped. Um, new, new seat covers were put on. Um, and sadly, one of my zippers on my pants made a scuff on the seat, so I had it redone. I'm very meticulous about this car. If there's ever a sound or a noise, I, I get it done. I have an amazing mechanic, uh, Dave Vale, uh, who's done a majority of the work on this car. Um, and when I redid the motor in 2016 with BD Woods, Paul Fernandez, who's a Trans Am fanatic uh, mechanic, he, he's the one who put the engine in and out and delivered it to BD and Woods, who's one of the most well-known engine rebuilders in Ontario. Yeah, and they specialize in, in, the, in these engines. They've done a few of them. Yeah. They, they, board, board things, they board the engine out a little bit more, so it's got a little bit of extra performance, I understand. Yeah, just to make sure everything was perfectly balanced and polished. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Sounds good. And what and what about the uh, the body? So what what did you do yeah, to so the, the body? The body I redid in 2013. So we had the whole car uh, redone to bare, stripped down to bare metal. So the two fenders, the hood, the trunk lid, the two doors were sent to a metal dipping stripping place. Everything down to bare metal. On site, uh, the rest of the the body was stripped down to bare metal. We had the rear the rear quarters uh, cut out, new rear quarters butt welded in. Um, and so there's not a speck of rust on the car, uh, and everything everything was done. And underneath. They uh, stripped the whole bottom of the car, uh, put a special uh, army paint that you can hit with a hammer and it won't crack. Uh, really tough paint and uh, yeah, did an amazing work. And this is Michelangelo's Auto Salon uh, who, who did the, the body work and they, and they mostly specialize in Lamborghinis, Ferraris and Rolls Royce and high-end cars but he happens to be a Trans Am guy as well. So he accepted this car in and anybody that brought this car to you, they're completely and utterly impressed with the paint job on this car. Yeah, the detail of the paint is excellent. The shop I can attest to is a really high quality shop. And uh, yeah, the, the, the car is very straight, all all basically all metal. I was, and there are photos of the restoration. Yeah. And uh, something that we, we, you, you had a little difficulty with the front clip, you had to yeah. source it. Uh, yeah, uh, so we, end, we ended up ordering an aftermarket uh, valence, the front valence piece here. And uh, it was an aftermarket valence. It, unfortunately, it didn't fit well at all. So I was really fortunate. I was able to source an original GM, an original GM box from the factory uh, from 1974. Uh, it was just over a thousand US and we had it shipped up and it fit perfectly. Uh, you must have felt like you won the lottery finding yeah, that. Oh my God. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Okay, we're back. We're back. Yeah, so everything I just wanted to mention that everything's all, all original on this car, and if it isn't, I have the original parts in a box. So right now it does have the Edderbrock aluminum intake, which I have the original intake refinished, ready to go with new gaskets, and the original valve covers as well. Um, and also it has headers on the car currently, but I do have the original exhaust manifolds. Um, and inside has the original ra original radio still there, and I put I put it, ended up putting a CD player in, but I do have an, the original A track, which is where the CD player currently is would go, uh, in a box as well. Yeah, so you get the best of both worlds. You get yes. the modern music, and I think you mentioned that you had replaced the speakers with GM uh, uh, replacement speakers. Yeah, the original speaker has a special GM mount, and it's a fun, it's an odd size speaker, so that was redone. Um, another thing I wanted to mention too was the. Um, 
I just lost my train of thought. Well, uh, the, the, the wheels have, you, you have the original wheels oh, yeah, that are going right. with the so car? Yep, yeah, thank you very much. So I have the original 15-inch uh, honeycomb uh, rims with brand new rings and rubber. So that, that also comes with Yeah, we have photos well. of that in the auction. Yeah. And, and what about the air conditioning? This car thank came you. with air conditioning. That's what I was just thinking of. So this is, this is an air conditioning car. The box is there and I have all the the longer belt and the compressor, I have all that, all those parts. So if somebody wanted to refinish the air conditioning and get it working again, it's all ready to go. Great. And, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I never ended up doing it. When you're, when you, you have a white car, you put the beads on the seat, you don't really need air conditioning. So put I the windows down. So I never ended up doing it. Sure. Yeah. And, and, and and how come you're selling the car, by the way? It looks like, you know, obviously this was a passion for you and yeah. the, your dream car, you I got know. it. So I've had the yes once again I've had the car for 20 years I've put 20,000 miles on it I I, I do lo I love the car but my passion has changed I got into meditation uh, competitive mountain biking uh, I ended up buying a cottage just about five years ago it's got a gravel road so I never wanted to bring it there I more or less never drive on dirt roads or gravel roads with this and I've and I've literally driven it in the rain less than five times since I've owned it right so you just have you found you're just not using the car that much yeah unfortunately and. You think? I, I had no time. I'm really busy with my real estate business yeah. as well as the well, a car like this. It should go to someone that's going to really uh, use it and, and, and appreciate it. Absolutely. Sounds good. Well, it, uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to chime in through the uh, uh, the the auction. And uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, telling us about your car, Jonathan. Good All luck right. in the auction. Thank you.